morning, friends. I hope you're having a good day so far. I have been running around the house, kind of just putzing and cleaning up, but I'm getting ready to head out to the grocery store and pick up my weekly groceries. So I thought I would bring you along with me and come back, share a big grocery haul, and not only share what foods I plan on making this week, but also just kind of share what my staple grocery items are, what I buy week after week to help me feel my best and to really just make meal planning simple and easy. So we're gonna go head out to the grocery store and then we'll come back and I'll share a haul. But before we go any farther, I kindly wanted to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is on a mission to make therapy more affordable and accessible. I started my therapy journey with BetterHelp a little over a year ago, and I can truly say that the overall quality of my life has improved. I find that having that designated space to focus on my mental health, to have a provider who is trustworthy, licensed, and is there to give me professional, unbiased opinions and advice and really speak into my life has changed the way that I really go about my day. There are over 30,000 licensed therapists through BetterHelp and finding one is really a simple process. You just go on the app or the website, fill out a simple questionnaire and BetterHelp will match you with a licensed therapist in as little as 48 hours in most cases. And if you have a session with a therapist and you feel like it's just not the right fit, that's normal and that's totally okay. And you can change your therapist with a simple click of a button and no extra cost to you. And I'm a busy mom, so being able to schedule my therapy at a time that's convenient for me really does make a big difference. If you're thinking about starting your therapy journey, consider BetterHelp. You can go to the link down in my description below. It's betterhelp.com forward slash Amy Fritz, and you can get 10% off of your first month's therapy. And a big thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I'm unloaded. Before I dive into all the food, because there's a lot here, I wanted to quickly just break down for you my meal plan and kind of the method I follow week to week. So I always check my fridge before I go out to the grocery store. That's a given, just to see if there's anything I need to use up, things I have that I don't need to buy new, that kind of a thing. But regardless, I break it up into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now granted, all my kids are school age, and so lunch is usually just feeding myself or myself and Caleb if he's working from home. But most of the time, it's just me. <laughs> and then um, breakfast, we keep ultra simple, quick, easy school morning type of stuff. And then we have dinners. So for breakfast this week, I usually give like two or three easy options like smoothies, oatmeal, cereal, and then I usually do something fun on Fridays. I call it fun Friday breakfast. <laughs> We're gonna do French toast sticks that day. I bought some today, but just easy. I always have oats. Um, you know, I'm always picking up cereal, milk, that kind of a thing. And I typically have oatmeal or a smoothie as well most mornings. And then for lunch, I'm gonna prep some Italian chicken salad, which I've made on my channel before, um, but we'll prep some today, or just turkey and cheese wrap or leftovers. So again, lunch is really simple. I'm just feeding myself. I like to give myself two kind of entree options. And then I'll fill my plate with greens or veggies or crackers or whatever. So that's really easy. And then for dinner this week, I have, um, I think I have six, one, two, three, four, yeah. Six meals, that's usually kind of what I like to do. I don't plan specifically night to night. I just buy what I need to make these meals and then 
make whatever I feel like making <laughs> throughout the week. I like to give myself one grace night. So, you know, we'll usually order out or drive through or just have kind of a leftover hodgepodge night. So that's kind of what we like to do. This week we're gonna have some Italian chicken with veggies in the crock pot. It's the easiest recipe ever. We're gonna do some steak fajitas on the Blackstone, burgers and sweet potato fries salmon with mango salsa. We're gonna do breakfast for dinner one night. I love to do that once a week. Usually Saturday night, Sunday night is a night we like to do that. And then tonight I'm actually gonna make some white chicken chili and I'll share that recipe as well. So all that to say, <laughs> let's dive into the grocery haul. I tried to kind of group things together by meal, but <laughs> we might be a little all over the place. Starting out here, I don't know what happened here in the bag. They like sealed together. I think they were next to something frozen and they got stuck. So I just pulled them apart, but this is just a protein pancake mix. It's pretty yummy. It's kind of comparable to like a Kodiak cake mix. It's just the Aldi version. Um, I got that with some thick cut, cut bacon and dozen eggs and we'll do breakfast for dinner. I got some skirt steaks here. I got two of them and we will grill those up on the Blackstone along with some peppers, some onion. I've got some jalapeno as well and do steak fajitas. And I've got corn tortillas here. My kiddos love to eat them in a tortilla, but I also picked up a handful of these quinoa and brown rice packets. This is the ultimate kind of lazy girl hack <laughs> for a side dish. Um, but I might do one of these on fajita night and do like a fajita burrito bowl kind of a thing. Um, another night we'll do burgers. So I've got some grass fed burger patties here. I love that Aldi has that option. Um, we've got the patties. I've got some brioche buns. I've got some Colby Jack cheese. And then I like to buy this artisan lettuce. It's like a full head of lettuce. And this is what I will wrap my burger in if I want to do something lighter. Um, it's also great in salads and that kind of a thing too. But I'll typically eat my burger that way and then have it with some sweet potatoes, salad, that kind of a thing. I've just got a bag of onions here. I know I already mentioned the onions for fajitas, but I was running low and I like to keep well stocked in potatoes and onions. I've got some thin sliced um, sprouted bread. I like the thin sliced because it's only 70 calories a slice. This is the Simply Nature version of Dave's killer bread, basically. Um, we were low on peanut butter and ketchup. So just some condiments I was low on. I was also a little bit low on chia seeds. I have oatmeal almost every morning for breakfast and I do a tablespoon or two of chia seeds in my oats or in my smoothies, so I like to have that on hand. Um, we've got some roasted garlic hummus. Me and the kids love to snack on this with mini cucumbers or um, baby carrots. Really easy after school snack. I find that in the school year I save a ton of money because I'm not buying all the snacky foods like I do in the summer because my Kids are gone most of the day, and then we try to have an early supper, so we really do avoid all the mindless snacking, and if they do want to snack after school, I try to fill them up on veggies <laughs> and fruit, and then whatever they eat after that is a bonus, but um, I got some protein wraps. I love these. They have 12 grams of protein, and then they have um, quite a bit of fiber as well. There's 10 grams of fiber in this one. And so that's really great. So I'll do this with my chicken salad, or if I'm you know, not feeling up to the chicken salad, I'll just make myself a little turkey wrap with some cheese and mustard and fill it with veggies too. Or I'll do turkey and hummus. Sometimes I like to mix it up. Um, so I've got those. Um, I've got some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make some air fryer sweet potato fries the night we have burgers. These are my favorite almonds. The texture of them are so good and you can get a bag at Aldi um, for pretty inexpensively. I wanna say like $4 and I eat these all week long. <laughs> I love to snack on almonds. Um, 
I think I missed them here, but I also picked up some pumpkin spice Greek yogurt just for fun. I can snack on this throughout the week or the kiddos can as well. Just got three of them because I wasn't sure how popular <laughs> they would be, but I figured at the very least, if the kids don't like it, I'll have it for a snack in the afternoon or something. I already shared these, but I have the quinoa and brown rice here. And then I've got some blackberries just for snacking. I've got bananas and assorted frozen fruit. I've got mango chunks because I'm actually going to make a mango salsa using this for the salmon. And then I've just got this kind of tropical fruit, fruit blend. It's got pineapple, peaches, mango, and this is the one we'll use for the smoothies. So we'll do that with a banana, maybe some spinach. I've got frozen spinach in the freezer, some chia seeds, maybe a little milk, and the kids love that for breakfast. I've got some cherry tomatoes. And then this is like my guilty pleasure dessert. I love this chocolate granola. It is so, so good. I'll have a small bowl with some milk at night when I'm watching TV or something. And then this is the other granola I got. The kids like this to have as morning cereal. It's just um, coconut chia is the flavor. So it's kind of coconutty. Got some milk and some grass-fed butter. Um, Love to buy wild-caught salmon at Aldi. This is like a family size pack. I think there's, I don't know, eight, maybe six fillets here, and it's around $10. So very inexpensive way to buy your salmon. We love to cook up air fryer salmon. And then again, I'll make like a fruity salsa, and it's delicious on top. I might serve it with a little bit of the rice as well. So that's a dinner, super easy. And then these are the French toast sticks I got that I talked about on the meal plan. Um, just trying to find fun things that I can make a quick breakfast on a school morning on Fridays because I want my kids to look forward to the weekend and be excited to get up and they love French toast sticks. And I thought this was a pretty good number for a serving, 12 grams of protein. I've got a bag of apples. My kids eat so many apples. It's kind of absurd, but always buying apples. Um, we'll come around this way. So this is something I'll do on a night that I know we're going to be busy and need dinner either late or early. And it's just chicken breast, which I've got four here. Some kind of bite-sized potatoes. You can do red, you can do gold, whatever you like. I just got these little baby gold potatoes. And then two cans of green beans. You throw this in the crock pot with a generous portion of Olive Garden dressing, or in this case, the Aldi brand Italian dressing, and you cook it on high for like three hours, and it is so simple, so easy. It's one of my kids' favorite meals, and we'll eat this at either like four o'clock before soccer or seven or eight o'clock after soccer. I just put it in the crock pot depending on what time we have sports, and it's a foolproof lazy girl <laughs> weeknight meal. Um, I got some rotisserie chicken. Again, just kind of feeling lazy, keeping it easy. I've got pulled chicken here. I'm going to do my Italian chicken salad using this. And I add sun-dried tomatoes. I add some avocado as kind of the fat source in place of mayo. I do some fresh mozzarella, some olives, some basil, and um, it is delicious. We'll make that together here in a minute. I love to buy my coffee at Aldi. I can get whole bean, single origin blends there for pretty inexpensively. So I've just got some coffee beans. I've got some greens here, spinach and arugula. And this is just great if I need to throw it in a wrap or have salad or whatever, throw it in a smoothie. Um, I usually buy and go through quite a bit of greens throughout the week. I've got just some fruit. I've got grapes, strawberries, and blueberries. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some white chicken chili tonight. I got another thing of pulled chicken here. It'll be chicken. Um, I like to buy bone broth for my broth of choice because it's really high in protein. Um, so it'll be chicken, bone broth. I've got some um, white kidney beans here, uh, some frozen corn. 
and then some green chilies. And then I really like to top it with tortilla chips, avocado. Um, I've got this shredded white pepper jack I thought would be really yummy on top. We've got some lime, I've got some green onion, cilantro. These are all things I can top our fajitas with as well. Um, that's something I like to do throughout the week to kind of make sure I use up everything is make two Mexican dishes or two Italian dishes or two Mediterranean dishes and that way I can be sure to use up some of this stuff. And then I think last but not least, I've got some salsa verde here. And that can either be just a snack or a side or our chili or whatever. So I think that's everything. I think the only thing I didn't mention, I did get some pickles. <laughs> this is, in my mind, this was for burger night. Love to have a pickle on the side of my burger. Um, but also pickles are such a game changer when you're trying to lose weight. They are really low calorie. They're filling because they're high in sodium. They're fun to eat. They're crunchy. They're delicious. You can snack on as many pickles as you want pretty much and be okay and stay in your goals. Also great if you're working out, replenish those electrolytes. Um, so anyway, pickles, who knew? Now for my least favorite part. <laughs> we got to get this all put away and then we'll prep some food together. So my weekly meal prep time is the time that I've really come to enjoy because I know I'm investing in the week ahead and I know it's gonna set myself up for success. And it doesn't take a ton of time, maybe 45 minutes or so at most. And this is a time I like to wash my produce and decant anything. Like you see here, I'm decanting my granola and cereal and chia seeds if I need to restock any grains or oats or anything like that at this time that's what i'll do and i just like to decant my items in wide mouth mason jars in a variety of sizes and i bought these plastic mason jar lids on amazon and it's a great effective way to store dry goods in the pantry So something that works really well in our household is to take all the fruit out of the containers they come in and put them together in another kind of container. I got these specific ones at Aldi. They have little dividers in them and I'll fill them with some grapes, some blackberries, some blueberries, some strawberries. I've got I think four of them and I'll keep them in the fridge throughout the week and I'll just pull one out at breakfast time or after school when the kids really want a quick snack or we'll take them to the soccer field and that way I make sure we work our way through all the fruit in the fridge throughout the week. Now I'm prepping some Italian chicken salad. For this recipe, I do about, uh, I'd say this is about one large chicken breast worth of pulled chicken, maybe two small. Um, I've got some basil paste. Fresh basil works beautifully as well. I just don't have any. Sun-dried tomatoes, fresh raw mozzarella, green onion, Kalamata olives, one whole avocado, and then I do a little oregano. This is delicious. You could obviously add to this if you wanted something else in here or take away. I will say the olives make it a little bit salty, so be mindful if you're gonna add <laughs> seasonings. Um, but we're just gonna blend all this up and then I can store it in an airtight container for the week and lunch will be served in the wrap or I can eat this with pita chips or even by itself, it's delicious. So I just chop everything up really well and mix it together with my hands. You could also chop it up and then put it in a mixing bowl, but this is just the way I like to do it. The main thing is just being sure that you coat everything in that avocado. So it's finding an avocado that's not overly ripe, but ripe enough that it's soft and can coat everything. And the flavor in this, the sun-dried tomato, it just works beautifully. It's delicious. And like I said, I'll store this in a container. I would say it lasts about three or four days um, and it will be a great lunch for me. 
for the coming week. Um, I made a big mess, so I'm just gonna clean that up. And there you have it. There's my Italian chicken salad ready to go. And um, now we're actually going to prep dinner here soon. So I'm going to get the crock pot out and we're going to make white chicken chili. I love my crock pot this time of year. It's actually from Walmart and there's nothing like a clean, organized kitchen, a pumpkin candle going in a cozy afternoon to make yourself some chili. This recipe is ultra simple. I'll leave it down in the description below, but so far I've added some onions, some garlic. I'm adding two cups of chicken bone broth. Bone broth is key for adding more protein, but any broth would work. I'm also adding two cans of diced green chilies. If you have little ones that are really sensitive to spice, maybe use one can. Um, I'm doing a teaspoon of cumin and then a half a teaspoon of chili powder. You could add whatever spices or seasonings you like in your chili. I'm also adding the juice of one lime and I'm going to let that begin to cook. And while that's starting to warm up there, I'm taking half a can of my white kidney beans and about another half cup, cup or so of bone broth. And I'm going to blend that together before adding it back to my chili here, you can see. And this just makes your chili extra rich and creamy. It just takes it over the top. Once that's added, you can then add the remainder um, beans that are left. There should be about a can and a half there. They're rinsed and drained, and that will go right into the crock pot. So now I'm just gonna add about a cup and a half of corn or so, and then I'll cover it, let it simmer for a bit, and then I'll come back and add the chicken and all the good stuff. So it's a little bit later now, I'm going to add my cooked chicken. You can cook the chicken yourself. You can use rotisserie chicken. You can use this pre-packaged rotisserie chicken um, from Aldi like I am. But basically you just want two cups of shredded cooked chicken to go in. And then last, but certainly not least, you wanna go in with a cup of sour cream or a cup of Greek yogurt. Now, typically I like to use plain Greek yogurt. Um, it adds a ton of protein to <laughs> the meal, but I don't have any. I realized I forgot to buy some today, which is totally fine. So I'm gonna use sour cream, and this is what's going to make the chili just creamy and absolutely delicious. So dinner is ready. I sent the kids to play outside while I was prepping this and I'm getting ready to call them in and call Caleb in. But I figured before the chaos ensued, I would show you kind of how I serve this meal. So we've got the white chicken chili. I can take the lid off now. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, cannot wait to dive into this. Loaded with protein and fiber. Such a good, healthy, cozy meal. But I've got obviously the bowls and spoons laid out. And then I do kind of a fun charcuterie chili topping board. I do this when we make regular chili as well, but I just served it with some lime wedges, some tortilla chips, some shredded pepper jack cheese, some avocado, some green onion and cilantro. So everyone can kind of put on their chili, whatever they like, and it'll be a super yummy, easy weeknight meal. So I just thought I would share that. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed today's grocery haul and sort of meal prep meal idea video. Let me know down in the comments below what's on your meal plan for dinner this week. I would love to get some ideas. Maybe you can share and the whole community can be inspired. But either way, I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.